transgender teen who has made national headlines for being held in jail on no criminal charges is making news again. Well, today she escaped from her new place of therapy and had Hartford police searching for her for several hours today. Tonight she has been found safe, but it's raising a lot of questions about the Department of Children and Families ability to care for her. News 8's Bob Wilson is live in Hartford tonight. He has those details. Bob? There are a lot of questions. The silver alert went out and she was listed as a male on the silver alert. She herself considers herself a female. So what does the state do? They say she's very aggressive, and when they put her in with the other females, she beats up the females over a prolonged period of time, even the caregivers. And when they took her for therapy, they said she got away. It was defined to us and given to us as an escape. Uh, and as well as a missing person. It happened at 1030 this morning in Hartford. A transgender teen who identifies herself as a woman took off from a treatment facility. A thousand people have signed a petition to say, DCF, this is not okay. In April, protesters rallied at DCF headquarters because the teen known as Jane Doe had been locked up at Niantic Women's Prison. The DCF commissioner wrote that Jane Doe was uncontrollable and repeatedly assaulted girls and female staff members. With officials facing mounting pressure, Jane Doe was released from Niantic Women's Prison and taken to a juvenile facility. Police say this morning she took off from a treatment facility. News 8 has learned it was the Institute of Living in Hartford, and today was her first day at that program. Every cop in the city uh, was looking for this uh, Jane Doe, and one of our patrol officers on Park Street uh, found her about an hour ago uh, walking on Park Street. Police say Jane Doe had been wandering for about five hours on the streets of Hartford, Washington Street, Park Street, that area. They say once they did catch her and take her into custody, she did not fight. She did not put up any resistance. They do have her down at police headquarters right now. Detectives are interviewing her, and then they say they'll turn her over to the appropriate state authority. Did she commit any crimes? Uh, her actions will be reviewed. Again, it's a juvenile, so some privacy issues. DCF put out this statement, quote, This morning, Jane Doe escaped while attending her first day at a therapeutic program. This is part of the ongoing treatment that all involved agree that Jane Doe needs to overcome past trauma and the latest example of the agency's commitment to providing the necessary care for her. The state child advocate says Jane Doe has been through a lot. A lot of our kids, you know, like Jane Doe, are trauma victims, abuse victims, physical abuse victims, neglect victims, and have gone a long time without a lot of the things that all kids need to be healthy and grow. Now, Jane Doe did release a statement through her attorney to the newspaper saying something along the lines of DCF says stuff about me to make me look like a monster. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.